I acknowledge this land that I record on today as the traditional land for the Ghana people and that I respect their spiritual relationship with this country. I also acknowledge the Ghana people as the custodians of the Adelaide region and that their cultural and heritage belief are still as important to the living Ghana people today. I pay respects to the cultural authorities of the First Nations people listening and watching from other areas of Australia. The Ghana people are the traditional owners of the Adelaide regions of South Australia. Ghana land starts from the north, northern suburbs towards Crystal Brook, down south along Adelaide Hills and the coast of Cape Jarvis. The Ghana people were amongst the first to experience the horrors of colonization in the early 1800s and again in 1836. The Ghana people were known as the Kawandila people or Adelaide tribe by the early settlers. Looking back on my childhood growing up in Adelaide regions, both north and south, I found that the First Nations people's communities and perspectives were more visible in some areas than others. In the inner city suburbs of Adelaide, there is a large recognition and visibility of the First Nations communities through art, assigning names to some of the parklands, as well as services supporting the people. In the northern suburbs of Adelaide, uh, more specifically Craigmore, where I've lived for the last few years, there is no visible representation of the First Nations people, culture or perspective. The local parks around the suburb uh, have some form of Aboriginal or traditional uh, arts and tributes, but nothing that highlighted the history of the area it's, or its uh, cultural symbols. Some of the arts found were mainly in Craigmore High School, which is a school within the suburbs, but none of the other parklands or parks had any form of art that specifically highlighted the Ghana people. Through walking in neighboring suburbs, I found a service called Marnie Wandi. Marnie Wandi is a service that engages First Nations communities and provides them with assistance, uh, support, and it also advocates to increase uh, the First Nations participation in the community, as well as in different programs that are run in the city of Playford. They also have services that provide the First Nations communities with general information and they refer, they have a range of referrals to different indigenous specific services within the area or outside. As previously mentioned, the Ghana people although visible in some areas, need a better representation in other suburbs of Adelaide. In a socially just society, I believe that we would, we as a nation would be embracing the First Nations cultural knowledge as well as their understanding of country as part of Australia's national heritage. We would also be valuing and respecting the land in which they lived previously and continue to live on today. As a multicultural society, Australia needs to educate its public on the First Nations people contribution to this land, both historically and now in the present time. Through educational program, the First Nations people would be valued more and more visible in society. This would help them regain power and recognition in their homeland. It would also 
create a balanced society where the First Nations groups have a say in the social, political and economic progress of this country.